And today we are here to support research. And some of you may know that last May we launched a campaign to raise funds from people in the community like you to support the research of Dr. Ava Shapi. And Dr. Ava Shapi is right over here for those who may, may not have noticed her. And her work has been groundbreaking. She's been able to grow Borrelia in culture, has investigated the effects of different antibiotics on the different forms of Borrelia, and she's moved forward and started examining whether Borrelia form biofilm colonies that might uh, help them escape um, uh, antibiotics from killing them. And in this work, she uses high-powered microscopes. But to continue her work, she needed a highly sophisticated microscope called an atomic force microscope. And it sounds pretty advanced, and it is. With the help of people contributing uh, to this research, some as little as $5 or $10, we were able to raise $35,000 in one month on a crowdfunding uh, program. That's thanks to the efforts of everybody who just stepped in and said, I can do a little something. Uh, and in addition, we had some other donors step forward, and at the end of the day, we were able to raise $150,000 to support her research. And so, uh, and most of that is going to go towards the microscope, and a little bit of it is going to go towards funding her first research project with that, which will be on biofilms. So today, I'd like to present Dr. Ava Shapi with the fruits of these efforts. And Dr. Ava Shapi, would you please come up? And Ron, if you'd like to join us. Nancy Joe, if you're here and could join us. Dorothy, Phyllis. You can come on up. So it is, it is with great pride. <laughs> it is with great pride that LymeDisease.org presents you with a check on behalf of LymeDisease.org for $150,000 to support your research. And could we have a round of applause for Dr. Ava Shapi's work and her research. I cannot say enough to thank you for all your support. It's not just about the money, but every day I'm getting emails, phone calls, and, and uh, thanking us to take us some uh, sometimes impossible job to convince people that Lyme bacteria is not that easy to kill. For this microscope, uh, we will go deep in the tissues. We will try to understand those, all, the, all those mor morphological forms which can, which can be very resistant to antibiotics or even other antimicrobial agents. I have actually a couple students of my graduate students came with me uh, with presenting at ILATS uh, some new informations. But again, the microscope directly will be used to find those Borrelia biofilms in the body. And uh, this afternoon, I will present the first time some very interesting data that this might be indeed exist. So thank you very much. And, and uh, drop me an email. You can find me on the web anytime. And, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.